Hello, my topic today is make for availability. The goal of make for availability is to prevent both shortages and surpluses and be able to guarantee availability throughout the supply chain. Availability means any client always gets what he desires when he comes to your store or warehouse. Make for availability is therefore much more than just make to stock. Make for availability becomes the preferred methodology when make to order lead times are longer than the time clients are willing to wait. Demand information flows from clients through the entire supply chain. If you look at daily, weekly and monthly demand at the level of clients, do you think total demand fluctuates a lot? Just think of chocolate or coffee, bread, shoes, clothing, cars, computers. What do you think the daily variations in coffee consumption amount to in, say, Italy? The sum of all demand will hardly fluctuate at all. However, business practices guarantee the bullwhip effect. By the time smooth and regular demand gets back to production or a supplier, we see huge fluctuations. Material flows the other way, and we manage to accentuate the bullwhip effect by operating with big batches and stuffing our factories with too much work. We are the enemy. The production conflict. On the one hand, factories are under immense pressure to reduce inventory. They must limit production of fast movers because it is difficult to reduce inventories of slow and non-movers. There is equal pressure to never miss a sale. It is essential to produce enough of the fast movers. At the same time, there is pressure for efficiency. Non-production is not very efficient. It often has a negative effect on efficiency measures. The desire to be efficient results in pressure to produce more, and we, excuse me, we compromise. Warehouse managers want to perform well too. To do that, they must reduce costs and investment. They have pressure to hold less inventory. On the other hand, they must also never lose a sale, which results in pressure to hold more inventory. The pressure to hold more inventory stems from replenishment times that are often too long, suppliers that cannot be relied upon, and inaccurate forecasts. Customers, distributors, in fact all nodes of a supply chain, try to hold enough stock because suppliers are unreliable, forecasts are lousy, and lead times too long. You cannot blame the managers, they are simply responding to their daily experience. We need to recognize that lead times from a central warehouse to almost anywhere in a supply chain are very short, much shorter than production lead times. For this to be true, a central warehouse must at all times have all items available in stock. The paradigm shift, the paradigm shift is we hold the vast majority of our stock in a central warehouse and respond quickly to regional warehouse demand and regional warehouses respond in the same way to the rest of the chain. Since replenishment time is very short, regional warehouses need much less stock to cover demand, and aggregated demand forecasts in the center are much more accurate than at the ends of the supply chain. We have the right inventory in the right place. No longer do we replenish according to a lousy forecast. Instead, we replenish frequently just what was sold, and no more. Since demand does vary over time, we constantly monitor all stock levels and adjust them dynamically and frequently to actual demand. This means we will always have the right inventory in the right place, in the right quantities. We can guarantee immediate and reliable availability, and because we dynamically adjust stock levels, we have less cost and investment too. What results will you get from your efforts? Availability increases to well over 95%. Very short lead times at all times. 25 to 50 percent less stock in the system. The competitive advantage of reliable availability, short lead times and no hassle, and of course profits must then soar. For more information, please contact us by email or phone and have a look at our website.